My little baby sharing his wholesome. My petal baby is just like the real thing. You can hug her and feed her and plug your guitar in for awesome newborn tones. My petal baby listens to you and responds to what you say. I love you, my petal baby. I shall rid your solar center and cast you into a sulfurous plane where you shall burn. My pedal baby comes with everything you see here. Each sold separately. My pedal baby, friendship is good time. Hello guys, Colin here. For the sake of convenience, many professional touring musicians are seeking to downsize their rig. The advantage is obvious if you are flying across the continent, playing shows in all different countries, then taking large amounts of heavy gear with you just isn't practical. Modern pedal boards and effects processors can give you all the sounds you need and are easy to travel with. Amps, on the other hand, are not, and if you're flying into a show, you may be at the mercy of whatever the rental company has provided as backline for that gig. So a lightweight power amp with tons of clean headroom and enough power to drive the 16 ohm cabinets provided at your destination and at a size that you can take with you as carry-on luggage would be a real advantage. Downsize your rig, not your tone, is the tagline used by Orange to promote their new Pedal Baby portable power amp to musicians looking for a fly-in gig solution for all those upcoming summer festival dates their manager has booked them onto. Neutral sounding to amplify accurately your pedal board sound while still providing the same feel and response you'd expect from playing through a real amplifier. Using a push-pull arrangement of amplifying components, the Class AB solid state power section provides accurate, clean amplification with great efficiency and the feel and response you'd expect from an amplifier. A Class A front end with discrete FETs is also included, which isn't unusual for a device of this type, but it is a great design choice all the same for keeping your signal pure. And that huge toroidal transformer is as much gut shot porn as it is necessary for ensuring the pedal baby can deliver full power to a speaker cabinet. Now you might be wondering why Orange didn't opt for Class D here. Well, Class D is often utilised in these scenarios as it is a super efficient amplification method. Class D is however unable to deliver its maximum power to a 16 ohm load. Class D can only deliver its maximum power for low impedance cabinets, 2 to 4 ohms, and they drastically lose power as they attempt to drive 8 or 16 ohm cabinets, which are the vast majority of rent cabinets found at festival dates and gig venues that you may be flying into. Driving a 16 ohm cab, Class D can only deliver around a quarter of its overall power, and that's part of the reason why you'll see Class D amplifiers of this type with such huge power ratings. It may say 500 watts, but it needs that nominal rating to be able to deliver around 100 watts to a 16 ohm cab. Class AB fares much better, with the pedal baby able to deliver its full 100 watts to an 8 ohm cabinet and only drops to 70 watts when driving a 16 ohm cabinet. 70 watts is still more than enough to amplify your pedal board rig for live shows with all the clean headroom you could ever possibly need and has the added benefit of having that Class AB interaction giving you the responsive feel that you'll be familiar with from playing valve amplifiers. The EQ controls are designed specifically for pedals and are unlike what you would find on a conventional amplifier. At the 12 o'clock position, they cut out entirely, so they're having no effect over the EQ and you're just hearing what you've dialed into either your pedal board or your effects processor. So for example, if you are in a Pink Floyd tribute act and you've got all the sounds for your show accurately dialed into your effects processor, you can amplify them without the amplifier colouring your carefully crafted Gilmore tones. A big thanks to the Scottish Pink Floyd for allowing me to borrow some of their equipment from making this video. The purpose of the high and low controls then is to tweak the cabinet sound, adapting whatever cabinet you've arrived to find into something that will work with your setup. If you're used to playing through 212 cabinets but arrive at the gig to find a 412 wall, then you can dial out some of the bass and add in a bit more top end to get closer to the sound you're used to. Similarly, you can dial in some bass to beef up a smaller cabinet if that's what you've ended up being saddled with. I want to demonstrate this power amp using a few methods that I think musicians might choose. The first is a new X Cerberus, an all-in-one pedal board solution, but you could just as easily view this as a pedal board of discrete pedals. 
a pod HD floor unit to demonstrate digital effects processors, a pedal preamp like this little lead from two notes, and finally I want to imagine an orange micro dark with a 100 watt clean headroom power section because I think that would be a totally legit lightweight gig rig. <laughs> So this is a compact, lightweight power amp for the travelling musician looking to downscale their rig but who still wants the ability to plug into a cabinet and get a real amp response. It's also a really cool pedal platform amp if you're the type of tone shaper who wants to get all of your sound from the floor and doesn't want the amp getting in the way of your tone. So it will be just as at home in your home as it would be out touring the world. 
It reacts very well to playing and absolutely delivers an amp-like response thanks to its Class AB design. It's very loud and very clean, so if you're looking for crystal clean tones that are unsullied by any preamp, gain or EQ, then this is huge. Effects like chorus and delay sound very crisp and lush through this. A good distortion pedal that's designed to be power amp fed is going to sound killer here. The Rev G4, for example, combined with the pedal baby sounds like a cranked, roaring rock stack straight out of the gate, and the EQ controls in the pedal baby are hugely powerful for just adding a bit of girth to the cabinet sound. For example, just increasing the bass slightly gave a low end kick to the cabinet that had me convinced that my Hoff 9212 had sprouted two extra speakers. Looking at the pedal baby, I can certainly say that I would gig with this. Pedal boards and effects processors are so good these days that they rival amps in terms of sounds, and all they really require is a nice, responsive way to cleanly amplify the signal to drive a speaker cabinet. The Pedal Baby is that solution at a footprint that is completely portable. For tours and shows where you can't take your full rig or large scale equipment, this will save the day when combined with a carefully crafted pedal board. Links to Orange's website will be in the description so you can check out more details about this product. And if you like this video and you want to see more content from me, then you can hit that subscribe button which will notify you of all new content as it comes out. My Patreon's also there for exclusive secret stuff, t-shirts are available, and there's other videos you might not have seen. But that's all for now guys, keep it loud, and I'll see you later. My pedal baby, he loves and cupcakes.